Is your potato cannon trying to kill you? I have always heard that PVC can explode like a hand grenade, and I've made a lot of potato cannons before, so I want to find out how dangerous they can really be. I did some research and found out potato cannons actually cause more injuries in the United States than actual hand grenades. Now, I'm somewhat of a scientist myself, and I'm kind of skeptical of this. I mean, you can test this for yourself. Lock a kid in a room with a potato cannon and a live hand grenade and see which one is more dangerous. Also, if potato cannons were so dangerous, wouldn't you hear about more people getting hurt by them in the news? A man was hurt when a potato gun exploded. Seriously hurt after a potato gun exploded. This has happened way too many times. Maybe potato cannons are dangerous. Ever since the earliest recorded human history back in 2004, interest in potato cannons has gone down. Maybe it's because people who are interested in potato cannons are removing themselves from the gene pool. Or maybe it's because people are just scared of what could happen if they blow up. So today we're going to find out what happens when PVC explodes, what causes it to explode, and how we can make them safer. So we're going to come out here and do the tests. First, I want to find out how strong this PVC actually is because they all have a pressure rating. So this one is 2 inches and it's rated at 280 psi. But what pressure do they actually explode at? I'm using a tank of argon gas to pressurize the pipes so I can tell exactly what pressure they fail at. And we're going to be using Rescue Randy to show what would happen if one of these failed while you were holding it. Make sure you're totally hidden. All right, I'm going to start turning it on, all right? All right. We're at 800. Holy crap. We're almost at 1,200 PSI. Oh Whoa! We're at 800. We're at 800. Oh, God. Jeez. Whoa! Oh, my gosh. So that one went up to, I think, about, like, 1,100 PSI. Look at Randy. His shirt is, like, it's unbuttoned. <laughs> it unbuttoned his shirt. Oh, Look my at the holes. That is brutal it stabbed through his shirt it's this look at that him. oh the door on the gopro is gone oh that's been like that <laughs> all right so those pipes held way more pressure than i thought they were going to i was totally not expecting them to hold like two or three times their rated pressure so now i want to try this this is not pressure rated pvc and i've been guilty of using this myself on some of my propane powered potato cannon builds so i want to see how strong it really is we're at 200 we're at <laughs> <laughs> well, we were at like 350, 375. <laughs> well, th we destroyed the table. The watermelon isn't really damaged. I wouldn't want that to be my finger, but I guess it's not too bad. That looks pretty sharp though. Take a yeah, look at that. Yeah, this is just totally shredded. That's super, super sharp there. Let me see, hold it to the side. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's nasty. Yeah. Even though it blew up at a lower pressure, like those shards are- They're much just, sharper than the other ones. They were definitely they were are. Up. The non-pressurated stuff held up better than I thought it did, but it still totally ruptured and exploded fragments all over the place. But what if you could contain all of the shrapnel? I've heard myths that you can wrap the potato cannon in duct tape or other things like fiberglass or denim and prevent them from exploding. So we're gonna try different ways to reinforce these potato cannons. First up is fiberglass with the non-pressurated PVC. For at least one more shot. <laughs> I was about to say, until we uh, blow up another potato cannon on it. Let's test it out. Will it contain the shrapnel or help it achieve a higher pressure? I'm pressurizing it now. Okay, we are at 200. We're at 300. Oh! Wow! Look at Look that! Look at that! All right, I would say that that, uh, well, I don't know. I wouldn't say it really contained any shrapnel. We'll have to check the slow motion. We'll have to see how fast everything shot out the back, but definitely looks like it helped contain the explosion. Ooh, it's sharp. We're gonna try the same thing, but with pressure-rated PVC, and I've double reinforced this. First with heavy hardware cloth. It's like a really thick gauge chicken wire, and then I wrapped it in fiberglass. So the fiberglass held up to 300 PSI pretty good, but can the fiberglass withstand 1,000 PSI of pressure? Let's find out. I'm scared. This one might hold a lot of pressure. Yeah, this might be scary. Turning on the gas now. Okay. Oh, I heard the Creaking. fiberglass. We're at 400. We're at 500. 600. 700. 900. 900. Holy crap. We're at 1,000. Oh my gosh. Oh my. Whoa. Holy. That went up to like 1,200 PSI before it exploded. That's crazy. I could feel that. Oh, so, wow. 
that that completely destroyed the table more than it already was destroyed. Uh, 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 I mean, it looks pretty good. Not, okay, there might be some shrapnel there. There might be some shrapnel there. It's kind of soft right here. <laughs> just, just. It's only bleeding out a little bit. Here, all I have to say is that if you were facing this way when it went off, you would probably not be dead. That's as far as I'm gonna go. This was the part that was facing the watermelon. So it was up against the watermelon like this when it ruptured and it just kind of like pushed up against the watermelon like that and everything shot out straight up into the air. So I think that that kind of worked, but who knows what side it's gonna break on. Hopefully nobody is actually pressurizing their potato cannons to a thousand PSI because the only way to be safe around something like that is to wear an actual bomb suit. They actually sell these online. Did you know that PayPal Honey is the number one shopping tool in America? That's right, this little button right here is the money button. Click this button on some of your favorite websites and Honey automatically searches for promo codes to get you deals. Like boom, look at that, Honey saved me over a thousand dollars on my bomb suit. I still can't afford this. Okay, that's a silly example, but if Honey can find you a discount on a bomb disposal suit, it can find you deals on your favorite clothes, video games, meal delivery, and more. You're already shopping online, you could be saving online too with Honey. When there's a coupon, Honey finds discounts of 18% on average, so get Honey today. You can add it to your browser for free, go to joinhoney.com slash backyard Yard, not just join honey, but join honey.com slash backyard to let them know that I sent you because that is how you support my channel. So I noticed in some of the videos of the potato cannons failing that they weren't actually exploding. What was happening was the end caps were flying off and that's because they didn't glue them on properly. Good. So what I've done is I have improperly glued together this potato cannon. I've just glued it this morning and I didn't use any primer. So it hasn't had time to dry and it's not going to have a very good bond. So when I pressurize it, what I'm expecting to happen is the end caps are just gonna fly off and the pressure chamber is gonna remain intact. All right, so uh, normally the three inch PVC explodes at like a thousand PSI. Let's see what this one explodes at. And I cracked it, okay. We're going up. We're at uh, 200. No way. That was nothing. That was so fast. Oh, we nailed the watermelon that time. So yeah, a good way to make sure your potato cannon is safe is to always follow the instructions on the bottle of PVC cement. Once the glue is dry, you can pressure test the PVC and a cool way to do this is called the hydrostatic test. And what that means is you would fill this up with water before you pressurize it. And water isn't compressible. So that way if there's some kind of leak or rupture or anything like that, there's no compressed air in there to spring back and throw fragments everywhere. Just slowly turn up the pressure. So that was a lie. Potato cannons can also explode if you use the wrong fuel or use something a little bit too spicy. Great. That wow. was serious. Wow, I felt that one in my chest. Did you? I felt that one in my eardrums. <laughs> so that's why you should never use uh, pure oxygen and acetylene in a potato cannon. I'm not trying to scare you away from potato cannons because if you build them correctly, they can be a lot of fun. Like check out these cool designs. Look at this, a potato cannon tank with real shooting action. This one shoots ammo preloaded with propellant and a projectile. And then this one has four barrels. Yeah, I'm here to teach you about physics and making a delicious pasta sauce. I've even been working on a little secret design of my own. <laughs> <laughs> I've still got some kinks to work out, but you'll see more of it in the next video. Whoa. <sighs> nice. nice.